Okay, today's video I'm going to show you how to check the straightness of the head head deck and the uh, the cylinder head deck and the um, block deck for warpage if you have to get it resurfaced or not. Uh, after you suspected a head gasket or whatever, you took it off and you want to make sure uh, that you need it. Mine did need it. This one was milled. It was already milled. Um... Usually, most, not, I mean, not every car, but this car, 2000s, um, there, there, right here, 2000s or 0 0.05 millimeter was the maximum you could, uh, you can get away with warpage. So basically, you would check it, you would slide it under, you would put, you have to have a flat bar, don't, you don't use a straight edge, you don't use this type of, um, I, I see people using these um, levels. That is not a, a perfect straight edge. This thing is, is straight within uh, 0.0005%, like 10 thousandths, five ten thousandths of an inch. So it's extremely straight, see? The edge is completely sh machined on one side. If you don't have this tool, then you might as well not do it because it's not gonna be accurate. Okay, what you would do is you put let me uh, zoom this out a little. Okay, what you would do is you would put it, you would put it horizontal in the middle. Then you would put it diagonally like that. Then you would put it diagonally like that. And of course, you're gonna check with the feeler gauge, whatever the manufacturer says. Mine happens to be the maximum is two thousand, so that's what I start with the maximum. If the maximum would slide in anywhere across the whole deck if it goes under it's out of spec and it would have to be milled all right the same thing goes for straight like this you would check especially in the centers over here that's usually where they where they warp if it doesn't go under all the way it's in spec you see and what I would, like I said, you do it this way diagonally, and then I like to do it even like this. With a water passage saw, you go then you, this way, this way. I would think like 10 or 15 times I like to do it. I don't like to just do it straight horizontally and then vertically three ways. What happens if it's warped a little bit over here? So I like to cover basically here, 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 all the way out there. And the same thing with this. This way, and same thing like that. Okay, now on the block, you got the same procedure. Let's see, if I show you, I cleaned it up a little bit, but you see this black is basically was warped. The head was warped first, and now the block, I think, is a very, very little warp. Uh, it's just, just in spec, so I'm going to leave it alone. But it was leaking there, leaking here, and I'll show you the head gasket. See the head gasket. Uh, let me see, show you better this way. Okay. You see this? Look at that. How bad it was leaking through. There, there, and there. And even on this side, look at how bad that is. See how it was leaking through? In other words, like you see over here, it's nice and clean. That's supposed to be clean all the way around the cylinder. So you know, you see that's not clean, so you know it's not sealing. It warped and water was burning oil, water like crazy. If you saw my other video, you would see this is the Mazda. All right, this is the 2010 Mazda with 2.0 non turbo. And you see, all three of them is warped. Why it warped? Well, maybe it ran low on coolant, maybe it had a little bit of a coolant leak, and the owner didn't pick it up in time. And again, this car has no coolant gauge, which is ridiculous. So basically, once something failed, the light comes on. And you, and, you know, it's, it's ridiculous. They do that, so I, I believe they do that just to make money. But anyway, if they're not the only ones. They all do it. All right, so the same thing over here. You would have to get the flat edge, straight edge, I mean. You know, put it there. And here, yeah, I'll show you. Let me get the, um, let me get the gauge. I believe this one just goes under. Let's 
See, it just, just goes under. Not all the way though. So I think I'm okay. See, not really. So of course I gotta do it all ways. I gotta do it, I gotta, like I said, do it this way, this way, keep going this way, at, um, vertically on both sides and see where I'm at. But I think I'm pretty good on that. So I mill the head, put a fresh gasket on it, new head bolts and everything, talk it down in the proper sequence. And we should be good to go with this car. All right, this is Motocon 2020. Uh, please uh, subscribe. I have a lot of videos coming in the future. I keep saying that. I'm um, just building up the channel and uh, just trying to, you know, help people help people out, save them some money. That's what I'm all about. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. See you next time.